Howdy friends, welcome to All About Relay channel. In this video, we will be seeing about symmetrical mode feature testing as well as the power swing mode testing using the manual screen. Like uh, in the last video or last series of videos, we are discussing about uh, RTMS home screen features. One other feature we are discussing about the fall calculator. We have seen uh, multiple other features over last five or six videos uh, this video we will be seeing about symmetrical mode and power swing mode we'll see the symmetrical mode first before using the symmetrical mode in the rtms software we will let's touch uh, the what is symmetrical mode feature why we need that we know in the power system positive sequence, negative sequence, zero sequence uh, are the important factors like how the power, voltage, current are defined, right? If you see this picture, positive sequence common and we say it is a normal rotation. In this case, it's anti-clockwise rotation. A phase, B phase, C phase is a positive sequence. And the negative sequence, you can see B and C phase is reversed. And the zero sequence, all the sound, all the phases like in in phase that's a zero sequence how mathematically we define va is equal to va1 plus va2 plus va0 vb it's a b phase voltage vb1 vb2 so you guys know how to define the uh, positive sequence and zero sequence a negative sequence instead of we mathematically calculate every single time the the fall calculator tool symmetrical mode helps the user to enter the values uh, simply like I need a positive sequence common like two voltage of zero sequence, five voltage of negative sequence, six voltage of uh, positive sequence. We simply feed in the data. Based on that, the calculator calculate automatically VA, VB, VC values and populate into the test screen. This is a very important feature. Uh, it help user to test uh, the relays easily. Let's continue seeing how to use. To open the symmetrical mode, go to the fall calculator in the home screen. Click on the fall calculator. Click the drop down options here. Select a symmetrical mode. So symmetrical mode had three options like positive sequence voltage and current setting, negative sequence voltage and current setting, as well as zero sequence voltage and current setting. User can define any values. Assume like I want to set um, positive sequence voltage, like five amps positive sequence, and my current is like 85 degree I want to define. Positive sequence voltage is 69 voltage, zero degree. And I click OK. Then if you notice, we are the software home screen automatically define what is the positive sequence voltage we defined and what is the positive sequence current value is defined based on the angles it set automatically. And also we saw we saw in the top, what is the positive sequence value? It's a V1. We know like one is positive uh, sequence and two is negative sequence and zero is defined as a zero sequence. So V1 is 69, what, what we define, and five is what we define for a positive sequence current. Let's go back and see Define only negative sequence, zero current. I said I want positive sequence and zero voltage. I said for positive sequence voltage. Let's set my negative sequence as a 69. A negative sequence current as a five amps. No phase angle here, zero degree. I click OK to the go to the home screen. Now you can see the phase angle of V2 and V3 in B or B and C phase or Y and B phase, it changed 120 and minus 120 degree. So this is a negative sequence. If you recall the previous positive sequence, it's defined minus 120 and plus 120 degree. Let's go back and, and see like how the zero sequence looks. So I set the negative sequence current as a zero, negative sequence voltage as zero. I want to set my zero sequence current value as a one and zero sequence voltage as like 15 voltage. 
I click OK here, then you can see the zero sequence voltage is defined. How it is defined? All the phase angles set as zero. Uh, so we know, like, if, if you recall the beginning of this video, zero sequence voltage is sum of VA plus VB plus VC. So this is all the phase angles are zero, then it adds the zero sequence voltage. The same here for current. So assume like we want to generate mixed voltage. That's where challenge comes. This we know like how to do manually enter positive sequence, a negative sequence and zero sequence. So the challenge comes when we have the combination of values we want to output in the as a symmetrical common and value into the positive sequence components or negative sequence components or zero sequence components. Let me go back to the fall calculator. So I want to set like my zero sequence common as a 0.1 amps and uh, then 10 voltage zero sequence voltage and 69 as my positive sequence voltage and uh, 5 amps as my positive sequence current, no phase angle difference. I also want to generate negative sequence current. I set like 0.5 amps negative sequence current with the phase angle difference of 30 degree. I want to generate with respect to positive sequence. And I want to create my negative sequence common and as like 15 voltage. So we defined positive sequence voltage and current, zero sequence voltage and current, negative sequence voltage current. So to calculate resultant value, like you remember, like VA equal to VA1 plus VB1 plus VA0, uh, VA1 plus VA, VA2 plus VA0. If you recall, then we have to add all the positive sequence voltage and negative sequence voltage for each phase calculation. I mean to say like the I1 calculation, you have to sum all this value to find the IA value. And I, I1 value, you have to add the uh, formulas like E squared, uh, if you recall the one minute back, you will see those formulas. The same thing for C phase. So to avoid that cumbersome activity, this tool help us to write simple. Like you enter what are the positive sequence, negative sequence and zero sequence values over here. Click OK. The fall calculator automatically calculate what are the values it is required. So how do we know what it is injecting? Is it injecting what actually we calculated? So the tool above, it helps here, the display. So we enter, if you recall, like a zero sequence, we enter 0.1 amps. And positive sequence, we enter 5 amps. Negative sequence, we enter 0.5. So even though if you see IA, IB, or I1, I2, I3, it's a different values. But based on this data, we the fall calculator automatically populate the actual I1, I2, I3 value. The same for voltage. If you recall, V0 was 10. V1 is 69, V2 is 15 voltage. So this tool, it comes really, really handy when you are doing the motor production relay. You want to inject certain level of negative sequence or you want to do some positive sequence testing or zero sequence testing, like manually. It, this tool really helps. Let's move on to power sync mode testing using the fault calculator. To select that power sync mode, click the symmetrical mode and power sync mode button. It opens the power sync mode option. Let's understand what is power swing in simplified way before moving into the power sync mode operation. Assume like uh, the entire power system defined with the two source here, source one and source two. So both end sources have the impedances like source impedances, in this case ZS and ZR. And uh, assume like uh, the power transmitted from one place to another place by using the transmission line, correct? So it's all transmission line, it's considered like line impedance, ZL, and the current flow is like I and the power flow is P. And uh, the power in below, it is defined here, you see uh, the ES times ER uh, and the ZT transmission line uh, impedance times sine theta. So it's a simplified equation. If there is a fault occurs, suddenly load, load is cut off from the network, our source impedance is cut off from the network, there is an impedance imbalance occurred in the power system. So then the power flow changes, the swing happens. 
in the in the network this power or uncertain behavior of the power system or impedance changes it's seen by the impedance production relays who are like working in the transmission line production they know what is impedance production so this impedance production relay see that as a fault if there is no scenario to detect those faults so then what it will happen relay detect as a fault and it will operate so the relay impedance relays have one feature called power swing it detects the fault and it operates as a power swing not as a fault so it will most of the time it blocks the impedance operation for a certain period of time this is a power swing uh, simplified version see uh, this image simply explains how impedance trajectory works when there is a power swing condition occurs in the power system so we compare or we identify the swing by comparing the source voltage and the remote voltage basically source 1 and source 2 voltage we we were talking in the previous image so es by er if it is greater than 1 then swing happens in the positive direction es by er less than 1 the swing happens in the negative direction when es by er equal to 1 then there is no swing it is like trajectory it goes in the linear way and the point which intersect the impedance line zr and gs it's a center point that's you see here gc equal to gs plus zl by plus zr by over 2 so this is called equilibrium point this is a very significant uh, in the power system to define your impedance calculation for the power swing kind of scenario detection and also explain the system how it will behave i will create separate video for only for power swing and uh, out of step production schemes how it works in the power system production this is a simplified way so we are using the manual tool to how to test this particular scenario let's continue to the rtms software to select the power swing mode in the fault calculator click on the fault calculator icon then select the power swing and you have the option like nominal values fault values impedance setting so let's assume like we want to generate the power swing at the condition of like 5 ohms impedance and maximum is like um, 35 ohms so we, we will talk like this is the boundary between the uh, your impedance impedance uh, the swing happens like minimum is 2 5 ohms and maximum is 35 ohms so there is a swing happens between this uh, uh, two impedance differences then the swing is directed by the relay how we generate the swing in the injection like we seen the system one system two right we control the system one system two frequencies then generate the voltage differences and generate the swing the relay detects example in this case system one in assume like in the as previous image like uh, this is es or like source one this is the source two the source one is 60 degree, 60 hertz frequency and source two is 58 hertz so there is a different frequency and you can see the image looks like a swing uh, scenario if you set like source two setting 60 hertz the it is like per perfectly synced there is no deviation so it's a real identical scenario if there is a swing happens basically your system frequencies goes different between the system one and system two then a little bit of it's a swing happens then based on your impedances the boundaries like uh, the minimum impedance and maximum impedance of the power swing detection condition the swings happens between these two impedances then relay detects us so what we do here say we set the source one frequency as 60 hertz source and voltage is 69 the source two frequency is 58 hertz fault value is 30 voltage then define the min and max impedance of the swing condition so we automatically generate the swing when we click ok even you can zoom uh, this uh, graph and so to see how impedance looks like this is how you can see source one and source two differentiate i uh, zoom out then go to click ok here we automatically calculate what is the fault value of the voltage and current for that impedance settings and also we 
put the pre-fall values based on the calculation. So you can see here S and P values automatically calculated. When user press play here, then automatically we inject pre-fall and fault the two different voltage source it is injected in the background. If you notice one thing, on this test we automatically bring with the harmonics. Why? We are injecting that source one and source two. That means two different waveform we are overlapping or we call superimposing. We superimposing the two different waveform as a source one and source two and creating the power sink a scenario and injecting the fault voltage and current that's the that's how the relay also see it's a superimposed waveform then relay seals it's the impedance changes based on the impedance changes relay direct the power swing and it block the impedance relays or impedance functionality it's a very simple way to test any relay in the market like you consider abb siemens uh, or ge snyder any type of impedance relays with the power sync feature you can able to test using the fall calculator uh, thanks for watching this video in the next videos we will start seeing the all other main tools here in the rtms software like a ramping tool timing tool sequence or impedance for each tool we will go over it from the next videos thanks for watching